Kalel Isaza Tuzman is an expert in the startup and growth of small businesses. He's the president of Recognition Group, which is a corporate restructuring firm and an investment bank. He's the man behind the Entrepreneur Success Kit, which is a five-step lesson plan to create or grow your own business. Kalel, welcome to Making It. Thanks, Emmett. Good to be here. Yeah, good to see you. Uh, it's tough out there. It's very competitive for small businesses right now. What should you do as a small business to make sure that you can make it? I think the first step is to take some time to really explore what really drives you. Now, a lot of entrepreneurs are out there going 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and they don't take the time to stop and figure out what is it that I'm really after five years from now, ten years from now. And if you ask yourself that question in a very honest way, you'll often get a response that will surprise you. It's not always about hyper growth. It's not always about achieving a certain financial milestone. It could be about personal and business balance finding time in your life for your family, whatever it is, you got to figure that out first, then work on the business success. Uh, and having a good business plan, obviously, is something that everybody needs. What are the elements of a good business plan where you're concerned? Well, you know, I was working with an entrepreneur a couple of days ago who handed me about a 75-page document. And she said, you know, help me uh, work on this. I said, okay, the first thing we got to do is put this aside. And again, ask yourself that question, what is it that I'm really after over the medium and the longer term? You figure that out, it'll then flow through your business plan, through the marketing section, the branding section, customer service, whatever it might be. Too many entrepreneurs are in businesses that are not exactly suited for them, and so their business plans end up off course. We talk to so many entrepreneurs here on the show who have advice for people that want to get into small business, and there are some people out there who say, you know, I would love to do this, I just don't know that I'm cut out for it. How do you know when you should really go into it and when you should take a good look at yourself and say, you know what, small business is not for me, it's not my bag? You know, the answer might surprise you. I think it's right now. I think anybody can be suited for small business. It's a matter of getting in touch with your inner strength, overcoming your fear, and learning the difference between good fear and bad fear. You know, the good fear is the kind that prevents you from you know, jumping off of a bridge or right. kind of, you know, doing something silly. The bad fear is the kind that tells you, I can't do it, I'm afraid of what people are going to think, I'm not going to be able to raise the money, and so forth. Those are solvable problems. So it's what you're afraid of that makes the difference, not so much having the fear. You know what? I say go towards the fear. So yes, I'm agreeing with you. It's, it's a matter of kind of identifying what it is you're afraid of and kind of going towards it instead of running away from it. You've talked to, I know, in recent travels, at least 100 successful business people, small entrepreneurs who've actually made it. And there are commonalities. There's a string that runs among them. What is that? You know, it's amazing. We interviewed folks like uh, Bronfman and Michael Dell and Bill Gates and so forth, and then lots of entrepreneurs that you know running small flower shops, retail businesses. The common trait behind successful entrepreneurs is not necessarily what you'd think. It's not access to a tons of ca tons of capital or an ability to work 22 hours a day. It's self knowledge and honesty, and honesty most of all with yourself. It's getting really in touch with, again, what it is, is your, what is your entrepreneurial currency? We identify six different types of entrepreneurs. Some are after fame, others are after money, others are after a balanced lifestyle or kind of health in their lives. Figure out what your currency is and then go towards that. Real quick, I want to talk about your entrepreneur success kit because we've been uh, putting that up a little bit here, but there are five steps in this to grow and create your own business. Real quick, what are they? Well, once you figure out your entrepreneurial currency, which is step one, we go into what your strengths and weaknesses are. Once you figure out your strengths and weaknesses, we then help you figure out what business is best for you or in the business that you're currently in, what adjustments do you need to make. Only from there do we go through the practical stuff in three through five, which is basically, you know, all of the marketing and the hiring, the intellectual property protection, whatever. And then we finish, and this is counterintuitive, we finish with the business plan. You don't start with the business plan. You do the foundational work and the research, then you write your business plan. In the final analysis, is it easier than it seems like it's going to be or harder? First of all, it's the adventure of a lifetime. So anybody that's watching this show, I would just say, go for it. Uh, it's both. Uh, it's incredibly lonely at times. So having your own business can be incredibly arduous, but it is something that you will never regret. You will learn every day, and you'll be be become both more successful financially and also, I think, a better rounded person. Khalil Tuzman, got to leave it there. Thanks Thank for joining you. us. Excellent. And we're going to tell you how you can contact Khalil Isaza Tuzman right after this.